Red dwarfs are the most common kind of stars in our galaxy. A full three-fourths are red dwarfs, but they are too dim to be seen with the naked eye from Earth. A star's temperature determines how bright the star is and what color we perceive when we look at it. Stars like our sun, which are hotter and give off more energy, are white. The cooler temperatures of red dwarf stars mean that they give off less energy and their light is reddish. These kinds of stars are the smallest of the smallest. They are between 0.075 and 0.5 of a single solar mass. So even at their biggest, they're only half the size of our sun. Red dwarfs are the coolest main sequence stars with a spectral type of M. They are much cooler than stars like our sun, reaching about 3,700 degrees Celsius compared with the 5,500 degrees Celsius of our sun. Red dwarfs form like other main sequence stars in clouds of dust and gas drawn together by gravity. And when the material clumps at the center and it reaches the critical temperature, fusion begins. Red dwarf stars are able to keep the hydrogen fuel mixing into their core and so they can conserve their fuel for much longer than other stars. Estimations indicate that some red dwarf stars will continue burning fuel for up to 10 trillion years. Dwarf stars seem to be especially likely to have rocky planets. Calculations show that there are a trillion planets orbiting around red dwarfs in our galaxy including at least a hundred billion potentially habitable Earth-sized worlds. Our closest neighbor, Proxima Centauri, is a red dwarf with at least one planet orbiting in its habitable zone. If you like this channel and want to support us, please subscribe and hit the bell icon.